People have called me a victim. They've called me a murderer. But there's so much more. I'm a survivor. Gypsy Rose Blanchard's documentary is finally here. And boy, let me tell you, it is jam packed with a bunch of shocking revelations that Gypsy has never revealed before. But before I get into it, please subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the hottest trending news. All right, let's get into it. Number four, Gypsy says she was sexually abused by her grandfather. One of the most shocking revelations in the documentary was that Gypsy claims her grandfather had molested her when she was younger. She said when she was nine years old, her grandfather would take her out of her wheelchair and would bring her into a closet or a shack in the back of the house and would perform sexual acts on her as well as touch her inappropriately and have her touch him back. In fear of him possibly going to jail, Gypsy said her grandfather told her not to tell anyone what had happened. And for the longest while, she kept his secret because she wasn't ready to publicly come out about it. However, when producers asked Gypsy's grandfather if the abuse occurred, he denied it. In fact, he said at four years old, Gypsy was the one who was trying to touch on him. So that's not true at all? No. Uh, Why do you think Gypsy would say that if it's... I don't know. I don't know, baby. She would try to touch me, and I said, no, don't do that. She was the one that was trying. They touched me. I said, no, don't do that. When she was, she started that when she was about four years old. I said, don't do that. And uh, that's about it. But she, she was trying to, to touch me. Number three, Dee Dee allegedly tried to poison Gypsy's grandmother with Roundup which is a herbicide that's used to kill weeds. In the documentary, Gypsy said her mother had a huge vendetta against Laura May, who was her father's stepmom. In fact, Gypsy's father said there was once a time where Gypsy told her grandfather that she witnessed Dee Dee putting Roundup in Laura May's food. However, at the time, Gypsy didn't know exactly what Roundup was, and she simply referred to it as vitamins. I know that my mother had this hatred towards Laura. So that is something that would be in her character to do. Gypsy told me when I'd go working, the deer would cook and put Roundup in Laura's food. Roundup kills grasses, but if you take enough, it'll kill you. it eat up all your stomach. Number two, Dee Dee blamed Gypsy for her divorce. Now it's unclear why Dee Dee did the things that she did to Gypsy growing up, but in the documentary, Gypsy alleges that Dee Dee had blamed her for the reason her and her father had broken up. Now you see, Gypsy's parents had gotten pregnant with her when Dee Dee was 23 and Gypsy's dad was 17. However, Dee Dee actually lied to Gypsy's father and told him that she was 21 at the time when she wasn't. By the time she realized she was pregnant, the couple had already been dating for three months. But despite them not knowing each other really well, Rod, who was Gypsy's father, decided to get married to Dee Dee. However, the romance was short-lived because Rod couldn't run away from the truth any longer, and that was was that he simply was not in love with Dee Dee. I felt that it was important to get married, but I woke up three months later on my 18th birthday and just kind of hit me like, you know, you're married here to a woman you're not in love with. So Dee Dee, I'm sorry. You know, I always try to be there as a father, but as a husband, I said, I, I don't feel that. She grabbed our marriage license, was in a frame and threw it on the ground. When Gypsy was a kid, she said her mom even told her that she was the reason that Rod had left her. I know that the most devastating failure to her was losing my father. My mother blamed me for them getting a divorce because I wasn't the son that he wanted. Number one, Gypsy was addicted to pain pills before she even got to prison. Another shocking revelation in the documentary was when Gypsy revealed her mom got her hooked on pain pills. Because of the numerous surgeries she had that she did not need, Gypsy said she would still feel like she was in pain even after she used all the medication that her doctor had prescribed for her. So she would then turn to her mom's Vicodin pills to get through the day. I didn't know what addiction really was. I just knew that 
that it was a craving that I, I, that's all I could think about. I wanted another one. However, as she kept using them, Gypsy soon learned that she was trying to heal a pain that was no longer there. Gypsy says her addiction got so bad that she started taking multiple pills throughout the day, and it even got to a point where her mom confronted her about it, and in return, Gypsy lied and said she was not taking the pills at all. However, when Gypsy got booked on her mother's murder, she no longer had any pain meds handy, so she turned to Suboxone in prison. And Suboxone is a narcotic drug that is used to treat opioid addiction. Thankfully, now Gypsy says she is clean and sober and has kicked her addiction for good.